Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the West Ham Network. This is your Hammers Headlines for the 30th of May. If you are new around here, go and check out our channel uh, partners. They are Knees Up Mother Brown, KUMB.com. Go and check them out. Fantastic content as per usual. But I am here to give you some of the news stories coming around from West Ham. And like I said, every single day, every time we do these stories, it's relentless. It's relentless as a West Ham fan. It's relentless as a football fan. And there's going to be stories coming out of the club left, right and centre. Yesterday, I brought you a couple of stories. And today, I'm bringing you some more. So first up, let's get started. And that is about Lucas Fabianski. Now, he has given everyone else the indication that he has signed a further contract. And the contract clause has been triggered to keep him at the club for another year. Now, he has been... when with West Ham for a while, and his contract was running out in June, despite some fans, you know, not being particularly 50-50 on his appearances, some of them thinking it's time for him to move on, etc., etc. But he did speak to some Polish outlet, and he stated that West Ham did meet two conditions of his contract, which automatically brought a one-year extension. He said, I had two conditions met in order to fill the clause in the contract. Both were fulfilled and it was automatically extended. One of them I felt would be easier to do than the other, but we had to fight for a place in the Premier League a little longer than I expected. Fortunately, this condition was met, so the contract was extended for a year, so I'll always be a West Ham player. I'm proud to be entering my 17th season in the Premier League, looking at my history in this league. It's fun for me to be here all the time. An extension for Fabianski. It's not only well deserved to be honest but it's good news for West Ham moving forward um now he has overcome the odds of another keeper coming in Al Ariola and stuck between the uh kept his maintaining position in the Premier League between the sticks but I wonder what that means moving forward by signing this contract does that mean that Ariola will move into the number one roles Fabianski being back up um if he doesn't and Ariola doesn't then I could see that changing and could potentially leave the club this summer. I think Ariola will want some form of um, certain guarantees within reason um, that he will want to be the Premier League number one. However, something else to look at is the fact that Ariola has gone on to perform in two European semi-finals and now will be in a European semi-final uh, for West Ham. And if he goes on to win it, then that could be enough to keep him at the club. Let me know your thoughts, though, on the potential shout-out for Fabianski extending his contract at West Ham. But he's not the only one. According to sources close to the club, West Ham have triggered the extension options of Aaron Creswell. Now, I reported yesterday about Vladimir Sifal, and it looks like Aaron Creswell will be no longer a free agent because his contract was due to expire in June of 2023. And it looks like West Ham have opted to extend his contract by a further year. Although it's not been announced by the club, the CM, they have taken up the option for Creswell and that will take Creswell to 10 years at the club. He joined West Ham from Ipswich Town back in 2014 and it's unlikely, um, you know, it's unlikely he's going to leave the club now and it looks like he's going to stay potentially, potentially to see out the rest of his days in a West Ham shirt. And I think this is a good move by West Ham. He's been around the club for such a long time and I think it's vital that he stays part of that senior squad. And I think if he's going to be part of the squad, then so be it. But he can help define whoever steps into that role as left back. And I think he's still got a position at the club, 100%. Just whether or not starting um, for West Ham is definitely uh, a, an interesting one to think about. Um, obviously, we, like I said, we did report that Vladimir Sufal also has his contract extended till next summer with the option of a further year on top of that. But... I think Creswell's got leadership. He's got experience in the dressing room. Um, I think he could be relied upon for the new season. Um, Emerson has shown that sometimes he has a better option on the left or as a left wing fullback. And there's likely to be another player brought in in that area. But I think the decisions to keep Creswell in and around the club is a good one for West Ham, progressing, moving forward into the new season as well. Now, let me get on to the last story and probably the one you're joining me for. And that is the fact that Ward Prowse of Southampton is going to be in big demand with potentially West Ham being one of the front runners for his signature. Um, now, they, Southampton have been relegated. They're hoping that they can land up to £40 million for their current captain. He is 28 and Southampton see him as one of their few chances to receive a huge fee in this transfer window as they look to fund their summer rebuild for a season in the Championship. They have other players that could sell as well. Lavia, who is a target of uh, for Liverpool. But I think Ward-Prowse, who still has three years left on his current deal, will be in huge demand for many, many clubs. Now, West, West Ham, according to sources, have long-tracked 
the English midfielder, and are keen to add a few other midfielders in that role to potentially replace Declan Rice. And despite Ward Price's uh, Price's age, Suter still feel that there's a potential resale value in bringing him into the club, um, given his goal scoring record and his assist record, as well as his seat p- set piece ability. Now we've not had a player who can turn up and give you. Um, some danger from a set piece since Dimitri Payet and Ward Price does certainly give you that vibe that he's very, very capable of doing that. Um, now, Ward Price did score against Liverpool at the weekend and that takes him to a tally of nine goals from the central midfield role with four assists. And he has created more chances than any other English midfielder in the Premier League this season with 74. But no talks have been held between Ward Price and interested clubs at this stage with um, him you know, potentially going to be in high, high demand this summer. He was asked about the final game of the season. Was that his goodbye? And he did say, it is nice, of course. This is a club that's meant a lot to me because he's been there from the start. He says he's been there for 20 years and had a fantastic journey. Enjoyed every minute of it, any many minutes of it. You never know what's going to happen in the future. I come away this season with my head held high, knowing I've done everything I can for this club, not only this year, but ever since I came through the door as an eight-year-old. To play a part in not maintaining that Premier League status hurts me, but I'm sure this club will be back in the future. And it'll be interesting, though, moving forward to see where he goes and how much he does go for. But it could be in a West Ham shot. What do you think? Is he the man that can come in and take over Declan Rice's position? You let me know by putting it in the comments below. That brings it into today's Hammers headlines. Of course, if you are new around here, please hit the subscribe button. Why not support the channel as much as you possibly can? It does give us a good helping hand. Thank you very much for watching, of course. Take it easy and come on, you.